Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Morgan Price and today we are in Stationeers. So today's tutorial is all about your EVA suit and you. Um, it is quite literally your lifeline. This is how you live and if you don't treat it right it's how you die. So we're going to go to things to think about. So just in case, try to keep a spare suit around just in case stuff it in a locker put it on one of these racks that you can charge your suits up in doesn't matter where just have a spare just in case um if you were if you were to watch my uh pressurization tutorial you'll know why that's a good idea i got my suit destroyed and Rather than die, I made it to somewhere where I could be safe, and I actually had a spare suit hanging out in there, ready to go. Now, emergency means just that. Emergency. It's not going to last long. You can't change out batteries. You can't, you can't swap out air tanks, nothing like that. It is just, it's enough to keep you alive. You also get some tools with it that are just to keep you alive, finish a couple tasks, repair a hole in, in your base, any number of things just to keep alive. Um, your suit is its own environment. You have temperature controls, you have pressure controls, um, you can turn various bits and bobs off. Uh, so also what you put into your suit is going to have an effect. So, say you mixed your air and you accidentally got um, pollutant in it or you have a nitrogen-oxygen uh, mix that you want to work with. So, um, what would wind up happening is, is your suit would filter out the carbon dioxide and maybe the, the oxygen, but it would leave behind the nitrogen and eventually you will suffocate. Just is what it is. Same thing with like accidentally putting pollutant in there, you're breathing pollutant, it's going to harm you. So be careful what you put in it, it's its own environment. Uh, most of the time you start out with a tank, or actually you start out with a tank of pure oxygen unless you're Zrillian, which then you have a tank of volatiles or hydrogen. Take your pick on what you want to call that. Now, the hard suit has more advanced option to it and more advanced costs. So the hard suit itself, um, it has your air tank, it has your waste tank, it has your life support battery. Those three are standard on both of the EVA suits that you can access those parts on. What's not standard on the hard suit is that it has um, space for an IC10 chip, so a programmable chip that you could put in there. What you would program it to do, I don't know. I haven't gotten that far, but I know it has that option. Um, on top of that, instead of three um, filter canisters, it has four. So you can actually last longer um, w before having to change them out. <clears throat> Moving on. Super cooled air tank means super cooled you. You are, because it's its own environment, if you plug in negative 200 degrees uh, tanks, you're going to turn the interior of your suit to negative 200 degrees, and you're going to freeze to death. Just same thing goes for heat. Whatever you set it at is going to be what the initial blast of air is and it's going to take a long time to heat up or cool down depending on what you have in there so moving along your settings change your consumption rates so if you take a look at the EVA suit uh, thing over here you have pressure up pressure down um, temperature up temperature down so I usually tend to drop my pressure down to about 25, though you can go as low as 21 without any alarms, um, to reduce the amount of oxygen I use. And I drop the temperature uh, down from uh, down from 20 degrees Celsius to 
somewhere between 10 and 12 uh, to save on battery power because you're not heating up that area. Now, last but not least, there is no hamster bottle option. So if you are playing on Stationeer's difficulty, you are going to have to, anytime you want to eat or drink, open your helmet, doesn't matter the environment you're in, drink, eat, close it back up. So it doesn't harm you for too long if you don't do it for too long. But you get all arms like what you just got right there. And then you sit there and gasp like a landed fish for a couple of minutes. Now, you're going to have different options when it comes to jetpacks as well. Or lack of jetpack. If you get the hard suit backpack, you have 12 spaces to put stuff. If you get the jet basic jetpack, you have nine places to put things plus your propellant canister. And last but not least is the hard suit jetpack, which has 14 spaces and your propellant canister. This is by far the better choice of the group um, because it offers you more space to run around in. And if you wanted to, you could run use one of these guys along with one of these guys. Now, one of the things we're going to do while we talk about some of the costs, like we talked about the cost of the standard EVA suit, which to reiterate is 5 grams of iron for the suit itself, 5 grams of copper for the suit itself, 2 grams of copper for the helmet, 5 grams of gold for the helmet. It, they're reasonably cheap. Your hard suit, on the other hand, much more expensive. So it's the body itself, which I'll pick up right now, and let's open up four, drop this guy off. The body itself is 20 grams of steel, 10 grams of astraloy, and 2 grams of stellite. The helmet is 10 grams of steel, 2 grams of astraloy, and 2 grams of stellite. So it's a little expensive. Let's toss the helmet onto this thing here. We're going to demonstrate this as well. So if you open this up, I have some empty tanks to toss in. Um, so, grab the oxygen can, grab the empty canister, nitrogen will go in at a later time, grab these filters and toss them into here, and it's not too depleted, but it's still slightly depleted so you can see what it does, and we're going to grab the last bit of kit here. And that is the backpack, the jetpack. So we're gonna place these guys. Um, all right, cool. So as you can see, nothing's charging up on the suit rack. Um, to set one of these uh, racks up, what you want to do is um, pump your breathing gas into the front on the bottom pump your propellant gas into the back on the bottom. Uh, power of course goes in where the little lightning bolt is. And if you have waste gas in your tank, uh, let me grab this. We're gonna play this game here. Alright, so if you have waste gas in your tank, it will pump out via this. So, we're going to turn this on. It's going to do its things. Charges a battery. It should load up. All right, take a look. Oh, there it goes. Um, so that seems to be a tiny, tiny bit of a bug. So... Just loading it up and then turning it on isn't going to get the ball rolling when it comes to uh, operating the parts. So you want to take the suit off, take a look at it. There you go. Nice and fully charged. All set up and ready to go. 
that's pretty standard and that's all set up so that is essentially how you would uh, set this up now again I know nothing about the IC 10 chips for this setup uh, I'm actually tempted to use this oh oh let me grab something really fast because this is actually pretty neat um, your suits did I not get all right all right oh that's frustrating we'll just do this over here the magic of the console so your suits uh, blue I like blue today blue sounds pretty cool so let's go boom blue paint you are able to paint your suits um, provided you set them down on the ground So you're able to paint your suits whatever colors you want. And they've got some crazy colors. So let's see. Spray. There we go. Um, you have black, blue, brown, green, gray, beige, khaki, orange, pink, purple, red, white, and yellow. So you've got a wide array of colors there. And in fact, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to bite bite the bullet and put this guy on because I like the look of him what, what are you talking oh we're gonna move this guy there and last but not least this now I'm gonna get warnings because nothing is on that I know of oh no it's on I'm surprised okay so With that, that actually changes how I look. Um, I do believe the hard suit's uh, light is a little bit brighter. Let's zoom back into my head. Um, yeah, the, the light off of the hard suit seems to be a little bit more potent. Let's open this up because I need to grab some stuff out of here. So we're going to open this. going to move this guy here. Um, him, him, and him. Keep the spare there. Grab this. Always keep that. Spare medical pill just in case I do something goofy. And then we can put this back. Drop our paint can in there. Alright, with that, that actually... Excuse me, I didn't want to jump there. Um, oh! Not that there's anything on it. So another thing to consider is when you are in the hard suit, the jetpack is much, much faster than the basic jetpack. So something to remember. Wow, that's really busy looking. As you can see, there's there's areas that I haven't shown yet because um, what I have planned for them is not, I'm not, like when I'm recording it, I'm not happy with it. So if I'm not happy with it, I'm not going to show it to you guys because first off, I'm a little embarrassed. Secondly, um, ah, there we go. Secondly, Again, if I'm not happy with it, I don't want to put it out to where I I don't want to put out bad material. I want these to be useful, which is why I will always tell you, I accept criticism. What can I do better? How can I help make the game easier for you? 
So with that in mind, again, feel free to leave whatever criticism you like. I accept it. Help me out here. I, I wanna, I wanna do better. So, with that, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, click that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Let me let me know what you think, and please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.